This Woman Over 70 podcast is sponsored by Vesta, a woman-owned kitchen and bath design firm in Chicago. Award-winning founder Colette Rodon Hornoff and her team offer a collaborative and detail-oriented approach that turns your vision into a space you will love. Through design, measurement, and construction, you can count on Vesta to bring your dreams to reality. Visit Vesta online at vestachicago.com or call 773-252-7300. Let Vesta infuse your home with warmth and welcome. Hi, I'm Catherine, and welcome to Women Over 70, Aging Reimagined. And I'm Gail, and today we bring to you Edvige Gilbert, who is a transformation guide, stress management expert, and founder of New Life Directions. She reinvents lives and creates fresh starts, driven by a purposeful vision. In France, as women age, they become sexier. Edvige is expanding this idea to America. She's 68 herself. As an international speaker and author of The Fresh Start Promise and Victim to Victorious, Edvige turns stress into success by clearing unwanted habits and behaviors, creating self-confidence and exuberant enjoyment of life, or as she calls it in her native tongue, joie de vivre. She will expertly discuss the American concept of aging well and how we can break out of this stigma. Welcome, Edvige, to Women Over 70, Aging Reimagined. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, for having me today. It's a great honor to be inspired by you. Boy, ahead of me, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. So you, you, let's start, you, you know, you talk about women being, feeling victimized by their age. Yes. Uh, yeah, tell us some more about what that means to you. Well, <laughs> Because of the, the media, um, the magazines that are telling us all about anti-aging. Now, let's think about this, anti-aging. Why are we against aging? Aging is a process that we cannot avoid. From the time we're born, hopefully, we, we mature, we grow. And here we are being told, stop aging. And so now it's the panic for women because it means we are not accepting you on the journey. And we need to bring you back to a place. And I'm not sure where that place is. And so it becomes confusing, chaotic, and some women, I see magazine just recently, it was shocking. Women trying to be like a little doll and, and look totally perfect, pulling everything you can, which is no longer who you are. And um, so I, I'm inviting women to go on the journey of aging victoriously, graciously, and sexily, I don't know if that works, but <laughs> because it's all about taking care of ourselves. It's all about the vision you have of yourself. And um, I can continue, but tell me what you want to tell me. Oh, what do you want me to add on to this? Or go on to, because there is a lot I want to tell you. So help right. me. Right. For you. So so you're from France, right? Yes. Yes. So tell us what's different about aging women in France. Okay. So I tell you a little bit about my background. I was raised by my grandmother, who was a dressmaker. However, um, French people can be very critical. We are critical of ourselves and others. We can look at what doesn't work sometimes more than what works, which 
I see here being the opposite. Um, however, it gets us to be realistic about our appearance. So from a young age, I was raised with, with the sense of fashion around me. And yet my grandmother never told me I was pretty. She never told my mother she was pretty and she was. Every time we would say people told us we are pretty, she would say to me, just be grateful. You have two arms and two legs. Okay. Because we are raised not to be self-centered, narcissistic about our appearance. We are concerned about it in a, in a um, discreet manner. Is that making sense to you oh, what I'm saying? How, how is um, that from here in America? And what, what is it that you want to bring here to America? I want to bring here that you can be sexy as you watch. After 60, it's not the end of your life. On the opposite, it's a fresh start that you can make for yourself if you choose to take care of yourself. Because what I see with women that I'm surrounded with, they go, oh, anyway, I'm old. So that's why I'm fat. I say, no, no. It's your mind that choose the exit door. Because, yeah. So you don't care about yourself. So you're going to eat junk food. You're going to feel horrible because after 50 entering menopause, everything we put in our mouth matters, right? I mean, our hormones are all crazy and, and, and we need to care about ourselves more than we cared before. And if we decide to make this commitment to ourselves in a loving way. We're not saying, I hate myself aging. I embrace myself aging and I'm going to do everything to maintain what I have. And it's, it's, it's a state of mind that begins the journey. So I have a question, I'm sorry. If we can go back to, to France. So I think of France as the fashion capital of the world. Exactly. And and women, uh, the fashions are exquisite, and women are always looking so stylish. Yes. Uh, and yet, it maybe are you saying that they're dressing for themselves, for to to feel good themselves, rather than for the the external who's looking at them? Yes. Yes, and we look in the mirror, and we are realistic. We are not looking in the magazine. Yes, magazine can inspire you to know, oh, it's still in fashion. I can shop in my closet. We love to shop in our closet and match differently the pieces we have. We tend to have beautiful pieces of quality, um, classic pieces, and then we'll accessorize. Now, as Coco Chanel told me, I mean, us French, before you leave the house, check yourself in the mirror and take something off. <laughs> Meaning, oh, in mean? France, we tend not to put long earrings and a necklace. Either we put long earrings and no necklace. Less is more. It's about elegance, sophistication. And it's not about showing off with in your face um, um, colors, although we love colors, but we, uh, 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 we tend to be discreet. Like if you have a color top, the bottom is solid. Uh, if you have a big bottom pants, the top will be skinny. We're not putting big over big 
So we have a sense of balance and harmony. And we have been taught how to, to put ourselves together. Uh, you know, you put a little scarf around your neck or um, it's just, just tiny details, combining colors properly, um, but having a sense of your body shape. And I was telling Gail last time we talked without looking at each other, <laughs> that if you don't have a waist, it's not because the fashion say belts are in that you will put one because you realize it's not good for me as much as I love them. But I will focus on what is great on works for me. Could it be my neck? Could it be my torso? Could it be? So women develop their sense of personal style more than following the fascia. And um, in terms of aging, we love the fact that we have accumulated experiences. We are wiser. We are confident to be who we are. And we don't try to change. I mean, yes, we still do. Cosmetics are in France, like here. But we try not to exaggerate. Rarely you're going to find a woman in France with big lips. No, it doesn't work. Because you don't want to change the face. You want to embellish what you already have. And keep the... I mean, think, some, think about Catherine Deneuve, Sophia Loren. I mean, these women never lost their sex appeal, did they? No. It doesn't matter if they get a little bit heavier, but they work with it. You know, they don't... We don't wear miniskirts after 60. It doesn't work. Even if you could make it work, you don't put it on. And I see in America, they put the miniskirts, and I, I'm, I'm shocked because I know you have good legs, but I know you're not young. And what it tells me, you're not accepting who you are. You're trying to look somebody else that you're not. And, and that hurts me because we need to be in sync and be in our own skin, as we call it, being comfortable in your own skin. So talk to us a little bit about, uh, you say that you turn stress into success by clean, clearing away unwanted habits. And yes, because habits, as we know, we all have them. Some are better than others. So I help women. I don't like to call it lose weight, but get in shape. You know, uh, don't abandon yourself. Don't give up on yourself. And so... I will teach a woman how to, to, to create a vision, a vision of the person she choose to be. And we realize, re oh, the word is realistically going to work with this. She's not going to show me a cover of a magazine and say, I want to look like that. I want you to accept who you are, embellish who you are, and take care of eating well. No, we're not drinking every day anymore. It doesn't work for aging victoriously, unfortunately. There is some discipline that we need to acquire in our diet. We need to eat less as we get older and not more because the metabolism slows down. So you have to make choices with the antioxidant, with all this good. And, and some women don't care because they say I'm old anyway. My hormones don't work. So I will say I believe in bioidentical hormones. I've been on it since I'm 50 because I had terrible migraines and depression. So I didn't go in for the appearance so much. I went in for my health. And I see a lot of women sharing with me 
that they don't feel good, they're angry, they're depressed, they don't want sex anymore, they are not interested. And I tell them, it's, it's, it's not aging, it's not knowing what to do on this journey. So I'm approaching it with doctors that I'm friend with who can help those women deal with hormones. And I'm dealing with a vision of you feeling good about yourself, embracing your age, changing the way you dress, perhaps, um, working around what we can change about the body or we need to accept about the body. So it's all about being wise around your appearance and enjoying the fact that you are you because all the life accumulation of experience have made you such a more interesting person now than you were in your 20s. You didn't know anything. Now you know. You, you know what you want. You know what you don't want. And you honor yourself. Voila. <laughs> tell, tell me about those hormones. It's called bioidentical. They mimic exactly what the body needs, and they are made of soy natural substance. I never would take the, um, I don't know what it was, that made people very sick. Um, I don't know. There was one that was recommended a pill. This is more of, a, it's, a, it's not easy to get on because the hormones fluctuate with you with your stress level. So it's for the intelligent woman. You have a lozenge, you have a gel, you have something to put on your arm, and you work every day with, do I need less of the pill because I feel good today? I'm stressed, I need more of the pill. So it's not just you pop a pill in your mouth and you're good to go. And it's it's and it keeps you, I wouldn't say young, but it keeps you aging less than you would normally. So if I look younger than my age, my mother too, uh, it's partly genetic, partly taking care of ourselves from early on exercising. Uh, I never stop exercising. I started in my 20s. And I still do yoga and I do push-ups every day. I do something to move and 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 intelligently, wisely, because if you do too much, you can injure yourself. And I see people in their 70s running, and I said, they're crazy. You can't run. You gotta do a rowing machine, you gotta do a bicycle. But don't run, you're going to hurt your back and hurt your joins. I have to go back. May I go back to something you said much earlier about yes. the language that, that's being used, anti-aging? And, yes. and recently I, I heard it's like, it's not anti-aging, it's pro-living. And it seems to me that's what your important yes. part of your, your message. Yes. And, yes. What, and so in France, what language is used to refer to Age, women as we're aging how do how do they how are we talking you know about? what's interesting um i don't think they use anti-aging um i don't live there anymore so when i go i'm not as in touch with what it's being said um i don't know i'm sorry to tell you i don't know but um what I know is each woman that I see in, let's say, starting 60 up. I went to a concert and I was observant of women around me. And everybody has a sense of style, like you ladies right now. You have a sense. Each one of you, I look, you're different, right? You chose to have your white hair. And Gail didn't choose that. I mean, it's a choice to make and you enter it with confidence, right? Not just, 
oh, I'm old, so I'm going to wear gray hair. No, it works for you. You know, I, I, I'm not sure it's going to work for me. Uh, my mother is still a blonde and she's 94. She still does her hair blonde. And um, it's, um, it, it's, it's never giving up on yourself. It's it, it, my mother at 94 never stops moving. She goes, I gotta walk, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. And then, uh, and the reason she keeps moving is the reason she has no walker. So it's not because you're old, you're gonna sit and watch TV all day and eat junk food. No, you know, there is no expiration date for taking care of your health your body, but um, because here it says, oh, I'm no longer marketable, literally, especially if you become a widow, I am a widow, um, or divorcee, nobody's going to want me. This is what women say, yeah, nobody wants me. I'm in Florida, I live, and men, it's true, they tend to choose younger women. Why? The older women are bitchy. They are angry. They are resentful. They hate men. They've been hurt. They are depressed. Who wants to be with those women? I wouldn't either. So it's not because they're older. It's like they, they give up. They, they, they're big blob walking around and saying, I'm old. It's your mind that creates your reality. Because I see some French women I've seen happily not being on the market or single and having this attitude that life is a new journey for them. So how, how have you dealt with, with widowhood? It's recent. It's been... Uh, uh, Six months. Oh, that's very recent. But my husband was sick for a while. So how did I deal with it? He would say, go out and have fun. So I am now involved with a, a nonprofit, women, um, and mostly women involved. So we have a lot of events. Um, um, we have, last night I had line dancing. We have a teacher coming. Um, we go out, we go dancing. Um, I love dancing, so I go out dancing. Um, I have young friends, younger than me. Um, I love younger people because some older people feel too old for me. Their attitude is, it's not they look old, they're just not happy. See, what keeps you young is your life purpose. My life purpose is to help women age and feel sexy, okay? Um, okay, some people say I cannot look like you. I'm not asking you to look like me. And that's the mistake we make to want to look like somebody else. I'm going to help you be the best version of yourself. What? There are things you can change. There are things you can't. Let's work around it and make you look sexy. Because sexy is not the clothes so much. It's your attitude. Do you feel good in your body? And or instead of looking at yourself and going, oh, my God, I'm disgusting. Right? If you feel disgusted about yourself, that's called the law of attraction, you're going to project this energy to others. Do you think they will be compelled to say you're beautiful if you have this attitude? It's all about being sparkly and excited and, and interested and not saying, what's new with you? Same old, same old. No, every day there is, there is something you can do that can embellish your, just listen to a podcast, do something, Continue learning, continue sharing knowledge with people, being interested and passionate 
and compassionate. And that's what I do. I always share things with people. I'm alive. I'm funny when I can. And, 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 and so it's energy. We all made of energy. So you attract the same energy you give out. I attract young, young men, never old men. Although I was married twice to older men. So because I'm older, I'm feeling I don't need the older man, like, you know, not that he was, it was 12 years, it wasn't 25. But oh, I never was raised by my father. So early on, I always was attracted to older men. And the older man was always 12 years apart from me. But now, no way. I'm, what I'm, is younger? What is younger? Younger. What would you consider younger? 60, 55, even 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go, no, I wouldn't go to 30. Even 50 can be immature, but let's say early 60. Perfect. I'm 68. Uh, uh, late 50s, you know. I, I'm not going to uh, want to attract 80 Five years. No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'd rather be old alone. I I, I cannot be a nurse because men want a nurse, right? Uh, older men want a nurse. Somebody said funny, either you are a nurse or a purse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nurse or a purse. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, no, but um, I, I mean, I have a lot of friends who one is turning 70. I mean, she's constantly out and dancing and we're surrounded with people who are young, younger than us, you know. Um, and we love to move our body and we love to be sexy. And, and we both attract people who are younger than us. And um, so it's really what I would say to women aging is attitude. What do you believe about you aging? What have you accepted about aging that may make you older faster? If you think nobody will care about me, that will make you old faster. You won't feel sexy and you will just stuff your face watch TV and eat bonbon, and then say, you see, I knew that's the way it would be. No, no, it's all here. So it's telling women, what is, what are you passionate about? Uh, what is your purpose? I'm involved with this nonprofit, which has to do with sex trafficking and all these awful things. And I have Zoom calls with, with young people and I love it. I love it, you know. Um, I mean, Christy Brinkley turned 70. Did you see her? She's looking good. Okay, so yes, you can do a little help here. But you don't want to look totally disformed and you can't move your face anymore. And I've seen that too, those who are sitting there. And then when they wake, they get up, they're all hunched. No, your body has to match your face. And I have a friend in New York, my French friend, I adore. She is now 74. She teaches yoga. Her body is looking like a 50-year-old, but she has decided to honor herself and not take care of her face. She said, my wrinkles are my experience. And she has long gray hair and she looks very sexy. Because in one, sentence, see, uh -huh. in one sentence, wrap this up for us, Envige. En because unfortunately, our time is up. Okay, wrap. 
So what is your belief system? Your belief creates your reality. Make a decision. Do you want to age fast or age victoriously? Honor your body. Take care of it preciously. You only have one. Stay healthy. Move. Exercise. Smile. Engage with others. Look at yourself. Dress to feel good in your body. Move with grace. Move with style. And be curious about others. Love life. Have joy every day. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so much for being with us. Yeah, merci beaucoup. Yeah. See you soon. Thank you. Au revoir.